Hello, I'm Carlotta Arthur, Director of the Claire Booth Luce Program for Women in STEM at the Henry Luce Foundation in the US. I would like to thank the organizers of the Gender Summit 18 Africa for inviting me to share some information about the Claire Booth Luce Program and the Henry Luce Foundation's strategy to support women in STEM. It's a pleasure to be a funding partner and to have the opportunity to support this important summit on agriculture through the gender lens from surviving to thriving in a climate changing world. The Claire Booth Luce Program for Women in STEM at the Henry Luce Foundation was founded with a $70 million bequest from Claire Booth Luce, who was an ambassador to Italy, a Congresswoman, journalist and playwright. Founded in 1989, the Claire Booth Luce Program has provided more than $200 million to support nearly 2,900 women in STEM disciplines and is the US's largest private funder of women in STEM higher education. In the US, women are grossly underrepresented in many STEM disciplines in higher education, in STEM leadership roles, and in the STEM workforce. For example, women comprise just 19% of graduates in computer science and hold only about 11% of senior leadership roles in the technology sector. The statistics for women of color are often abysmal. For example, Black women and Latinas comprise just 3% and 1% respectively of the computing workforce. Yet, the likely solutions to many of society's most pressing challenges, including climate change, agricultural challenges, the UN Sustainable Development Goals, and the COVID-19 pandemic, rely heavily on STEM knowledge and STEM-related tools. We can't afford to ignore or exclude 50% of the world's potential STEM brain power. We recognize that challenges to women in STEM fields occur at multiple levels, individual, institutional, and systems. Therefore, our aim at the Luce Foundation is to address these challenges using our full range of resources at these multiple levels and through multiple approaches. Research in the US indicates that several factors are vital to increasing the number of women and people of color in STEM. Fostering a sense of belonging, fostering a STEM identity, providing strengths-based academic support versus taking a deficit approach to inclusion of women, providing financial support and personal resources, and transforming institutions, systems, and structures to be supportive of equity diversity and inclusion. We aim to incorporate these factors into our goals to ensure that our work is evidence-based and grounded in best practices. Our primary approach is support for individuals through the Claire Booth Luce Program for Women in STEM, which funds scholarships and fellowships that provide much needed financial support, research awards that foster a sense of STEM belonging and STEM identity, and professorships that support our efforts at leadership transformation. We also leverage the Claire Booth Luce Program competition to support institutional transformation. For example, institutions that participate in the annual competition for grant awards must demonstrate their commitment to the goals of the Claire Booth Luce Program, in part by sharing their strategic vision for support of women in STEM and by describing programs and policies that are in place to support women such as the availability of mentoring and childcare. We also recognize that this work could be accelerated through leadership transformation, which is an important way to address STEM culture, which can be a significant barrier to inclusion. So we are investing in programs designed to increase the number of women with STEM degrees in higher education leadership positions. For example, we currently support a global leadership development program for American and Asian STEM graduate students at Iwa Women's University in Seoul, South Korea. And we also fund the UN, the US Society of Women Engineers Academic Leadership Program for Women in Engineering Program, which provides information about academic leadership as a career path. While these efforts have doubtless had collective impact, what is ultimately needed is systems transformation. To that end, the Henry Luce Foundation has, for example, supported important work by the US National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine on sexual harassment in academia, 
and national legislation based in part on this research is working its way through the US Congress. We have also funded community-based and public-facing work, such as a partnership with the New York Urban League to support the Parents' Guide to STEAM to demystify STEM for parents in New York's diverse communities. And our 30th anniversary initiative blog, Room for Wisdom, which highlights critical issues of STEM ethics and society. When most people think of nonprofit foundations, they may think only of the financial resources that such organizations have. However, we recognize that creating and supporting networks and networking are critical to systemic transformation and paradigm shifts. Platforms like Gender Summit, which promote, promote evidence-based research and activities with a gender perspective are key to these efforts. The challenges that we face today are increasingly complex and identifying solutions will require members of the scientific community, business leaders, policymakers, and a wide range of stakeholders from across regions and from across the globe to come together to dialogue and to share knowledge and best practices. We encourage all those who are invested in or have a contribution to make in terms of best practices and in innovation, development interventions, education, entrepreneurship, and policy, policy measures relevant to Africa to join this important discussion, to advance knowledge, and to fill gaps at the intersection of gender, agriculture, and climate change. Thank you. <laughs>